Hey man, it's Doc Farhan, again here in Kiev, Ukraine, beautiful park. Let's talk about fasting, extended fasting, intermittent fasting, water fasting, coffee fasting, uh, dry fasting. There's a hard dry and soft dry. A lot of crazy stuff when it comes to fasting. I've been fasting for five years now, intermittent fasting. My entire journey towards getting to Superman testosterone levels, doubling my testosterone. A lot of the guys inside the Aphrodite Academy, they do intermittent fasting and extended fasting. And I'm going to get into a lot of these topics here in this brief video. And I want to talk about what happens inside cells. I want to talk about what happens in your physiology when you fast. And I also want to bit slap you a little bit. You know, all you mental masturbators out there thinking of how, what's the best way to do fasting. I want to make you take a little bit of action in this video. So let's get into fasting. Intermittent fasting is quite simple. You pick a time window during the day, six to eight hours, you eat during that time, and then you fast the rest of the time. A lot of people screw this up. They, uh, during their fast, they'll put creamer in their coffee. You know, I get these posts all the time. Hey doc, can I put creamer in my coffee? Can I put milk in my coffee? No, you're gonna break your fast. You don't want to have anything more than a few calories during your fasting period. So you can drink coffee, black coffee, black tea, and green tea, anything that's zero calories, water, of course. A lot of crazy people inside our Aphrodite Academy, a lot of action takers, including me, we've done extended fast, right? I just talked about intermittent fasting. Let's talk about extended fasting and let me tell you what the benefits are, what is happening inside the cell, inside our, inside our bodies. So extended fasting is when you fast for a long period of time, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, four days, five days, six days. Recently, Andre from the Academy did a seven day fast. Unbelievable, I haven't even done that. The longest fast I've done is 110 hours. And recently I did a four day fast just a couple of months ago. Now, any type of fasting that you do will cause autophagy inside your body. The way intermittent fasting or any kind of fasting will rise your testosterone levels is because you will lose fat. And a lot of visceral fat that is around the belly area, you know, that is around your organs and it just builds up and, and that is, possible that it will lead to atherosclerosis and other diseases of the body that will clog up your arteries. So losing that fat, especially the visceral fat around the organs is very beneficial to you and autophagy helps you do that. Now what's autophagy? The way our cells work is sometimes there is a way that the cell can program its own death. It's known as apoptosis. You can look this up. It's a great, very, very well researched term, apoptosis. I learned it first when I was in my PhD studies studying Alzheimer's disease. That's when I first learned about autophagy and apoptosis. Now, when it comes to fasting, these fat cells can be programmed to kill themselves. And that apoptosis is what will enable your body to lose that visceral fat through extended fasting and intermittent fasting. And that is what will rise up your testosterone levels because that visceral fat is decreasing your testosterone. It is one of the killers of testosterone, that nasty belly fat that a lot of guys have. So that's the benefit, the main, main benefit of intermittent fasting. Now, I, in my journey towards reaching my testosterone levels to be in the top 1% of all men. I have done intermittent fasting every single day for almost five years now. This is the, one of the first things that I started doing because I feel that it's one of those things that you need to do as a minimum. And don't be one of these guys that goes on the internet and YouTube and what's the best way to do intermittent fasting? Like what's the best way? There's no best way. What's the best way to do extended fasting? There's no best way. You just don't eat. It's that simple. And one thing I will 
really warn you about is don't go crazy the first time. Gradually go up. If you're interested in extended fasting, then don't just do a four-day fast if you've never fasted before. No. Start with intermittent fasting. You know, just have your eight-hour window. Let's say two to ten every day eat. Or 12 to 8 every day eat and then fast the rest of the time. One of the things that I've done to help me is I drink coffee to suppress my appetite. I mean, not tons of coffee, but enough coffee that it suppresses my appetite and gets me to that first meal, you know, at 2 p.m. or 12 p.m., depending on my eating window. And as you become really good, your eating window will become four hours or two hours or you might even have one meal a day. It's called a warrior diet. And a lot of the guys inside the Aphrodite Academy do this. So if you really want the best advice, it is action. Like go do fasting. That's the only way you're going to build the habit. And do it for 30 days. Once you do that habit for 30 days, you're going to do it for your whole life. That's how I started. Now, if you're interested in a group of guys in our Aphrodite Academy who is serious about this stuff, who will push you, hold you accountable. You want to see all the posts and, and you know, because when we do our challenges, we post uh, proof of the fact that we did these challenges. So if you want to be part of this tribe, this number one support system in the entire world, our Aphrodite Academy, then click that link below and join us. You'll learn about Afro D. When you click this link below, you'll learn about the Afro D Academy, what we're all about. And if you really are serious, man, it's not for slackers, it's for action takers. And if you are one of these people who wants to learn the most efficient, the most simple way to achieve your dreams, your goals, to boost testosterone naturally, to do all the different most effective techniques to boost testosterone. It's all available inside the Afro-D Academy when you get your Afro-D. All right, man, that's what I wanted to tell you about intermittent fasting, about extended fasting. And, and remember, our academy has some crazy motherfuckers. There's a guy, Brock, uh, <laughs> you'll meet him when you join. He does what is called dry fasting. You know, he had a really crazy journey. He was uh, doing these blood tests for 12 years. This is how he made money. He was doing these blood tests, uh, just random testing in different labs and that really messed up his body. And he has found that dry fasting where he doesn't even drink water for a few days straight. No water, no showering even. It's called a, a, a dry, hard, dry fast. You're going to meet him. You know, crazy people like that inside the Aphrodite Academy. I've done a dry fast 48 hours and it's tough, man, but it's very, very helpful and it will make your mind very, very clear. Mental clarity, if you're looking for that, nothing better than fasting. All right, man, a lot more information to tell you, but I wanted to keep this brief so you get all the main, main benefits. And uh, I'll see you soon, man.